Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode of The Crew. This is now part 10. We're in double figures, 10 parts already of The Crew. Absolutely crazy. Uh, we're going to do some off roading. Yes, I've not really done much yet. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Now, this kind of race isn't just a race, it's a couple of checkpoints, and you finding the best route between them. Now, good luck on not getting lost. Only the top races get to run here, which I guess says something about you. Don't get too cocky, though. It's a long way from getting invited to sitting in the winner's circle. So we want to get as many followers as possible in this episode. We want to absolutely smash it. I want to become a star. And we are so close to becoming a star. Basically, I want to unlock hypercars. <laughs> That's what I want to do. So, let's get it done. Ooh, that car is quick. Ooh, this could be tricky. Interesting. I do find sometimes the AI does get quite a good start. I have to sort of slowly try and catch up. Let's go this way. Where is the next checkpoint? I believe it's up here. I don't really know where I'm going right now. I believe I am in the lead. So that's good. Is that water in front of me? Yes, it's water. Splash! Bumpy, bumpy. The water does not speed us up in any way. Let's go this way. Screw you, barriers. Oh, trees. Don't like trees. 33% of this event is done. Oh no, where am I going? I don't know right now. Like I'm going all over the place. This is some serious though off-roading. This is proper off-roading. Getting from point A to B as quick as possible. Try not to make any mistakes. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Nice. Where next? Where next? Thread a needle through these trees. Yeah. So the last episode I uploaded it. Um, I scheduled it, and for some reason, YouTube just took forever to process it, so I do apologize. I always upload in at, at least 1080p, at least. Uh, sometimes YouTube will take a while to process. That's out of my control, but I do apologize anyway. A few of you guys are like, it's 360p. This looks ugly. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. These sort of things happen. There's a lot of stuff that's... Uh, but that goes in behind the scenes to make a video 1080p and sometimes these things go wrong and it wasn't really my mistake why well, take full responsibility <laughs> what I will do for this one I'll wait until it is 100% processed and then release it apologies it's an American square balloon is that a finish? I think it might be. Bit of a slow start, but once we got going, we found the right path. We made it. And we smashed it. Done. Woo! That went pretty well. I'm happy. Give me some parts. And give me those followers. There we go. This takes so long. I want to level up. Done. Everyone's got a moment where they realize why they're racing. Well, for me, it was the day my bike went one way and I went the other, and I broke two ribs. I picked my bike up, climbed back on, and kept running. Won that race, too. Wouldn't let myself lose no matter what. The details, just the things you tell stories about later. Competition for its own sake is nice, but it doesn't get you anywhere. As far as I'm concerned, you compete with the goal to come out with the most points. And once you're on top, you take what's coming to you. Mud. Let's uh, upgrade the car. Got a couple of additional parts. An exhaust. Yes, it is. Is that it? That will do. Let's do another event. You're racing through the bayou today. Don't know what the big deal is, bayou. 
It's just a fancy word for swamp. You drive in the water, and it's a straighter line to the finish. Drive on land, and it's faster. They mix and match to make your best time. And try not to get the car too dirty, huh? Well, it's an off-road event, my friends. Dirt will happen. Lots of it. So that's swamps. I like trying to decide whether to take the water or take the dirt path, basically. Might be tricky at certain points. It's boost right at the start. I don't tend to boost enough off-road, but... I'm so focused on trying to go the right way. It can be a little bit tricky. Through the swamp is... Just glide through it like it's not there. what route to take. The most direct route? I don't know. The checkpoint's just there. This is a raptor. It can go off roads. It's like a combination. It work quite well. We've got a very small narrow lead at the moment. Surely this is the most direct approach. quite shallow, it's not deep. People actually live here. <laughs> just saw houses, like what? They live in the swamplands. Excuse me. Coming through. Next checkpoint. Right here. What I might do now is follow this path here. All you're doing is giving me a challenge. Yeah, this now makes sense to go on this path. Yep. Complete sense. And then, oh no. Oh no. How did I just style that out? I have no idea. <laughs> I was so screwed. What did I just do? I performed the magic. That was, a bit of, that was a bit of luck. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely a bit of luck. Come on, I do need to buy a new off-road vehicle at some point. Just I'm aware that obviously a hypercar might be quite expensive. So I'm trying to like save my money so I don't have to sort of go for a budget hypercar. I wanna get I wanna pick whatever I wanna pick basically. The one that's gonna keep me happy until the end of the game. And that's gonna be very expensive. Is that the finish? We've done it! More followers? Bit of money? Boom! Give me upgrades. God, it's barely moving! We're just gonna keep going, I think, today. We're gonna keep powering through. I wanna become a star. Today. Rookie, <laughs> look at you. Yeah. You're my rising star in the off road world. This is gonna be huge for me. And for you, too. Oh, he said him, him first. Selfish bastards. Right. <laughs> no, let's uh, upgrade the vehicle. Uh, what do we have? Gearbox. Slightly upgraded. A new air filter with new perks. And a brand new exhaust. The car is getting better. Good. That is what we want. Let's zoom back out. We've now got $600,000. That's, that's a decent amount of money. I've set a waypoint for that one for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, they recommend 50. I'm 54. So I'm just about on target for that. Do some more off-roading. Let's keep going. Lots of obstacles. I reckon this is going to be harder, this one. And when I drove here, I always kept one eye on a distance to plan ahead. And that's free advice. You should take it if you want to do as well as me. I'll be keeping an eye on you. See if you measure up. Oh, I measure up, mate. I mess her up in these. I will destroy any opponent Thank you in front of me. I will flick dirt in their eyes and I will win. Three, two, one. Let's go. That's the objective. There's the checkpoints. A few different routes. I reckon this is going to be. A lot harder. A lot of trees around as well. This is 
the best route. Let's boost up the hill. Hills will slow us down. Ooh. Gonna hit a tree at some point, surely. This is the most effective way. Wow. I don't know how he did that, but we did. Boost again. Boost, 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 boost. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, that's going to slow us down. Horrible jump. I mean, very direct. It's not always the best idea. I've lost a little bit of time. This is a steep hill, man. Fairly, very steep. I oh, went next, went next. This way. Are you sure? Oh, okay, yeah. Hint. Oh, jumping. Sorry. <laughs> I just lost their signal. Got a race to win. So I'm going to hit a tree any moment. That one's fine. Absolutely mental. Uh, right, is this the right way? A weird direction. There's a path. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's it. Get on this road, get on this road. And just storm towards it. There we go. Here we go. Woken up on fire today. No, I'm gonna hit. I'm so gonna hit a tree now. Yep, yeah, I'm so gonna hit. Why did I just make a comment? Look, I did it. See what yeah. You listen to me. You win big. I felt good. So ever stop? Felt very good. Oh, now it's off roads is actually fun. This game. When I saw that it had it in this game, I was a bit like. Mm -hmm. That sort of needs to be payback, so but those sort of events are insane. So good. Let's upgrade the vehicle even more. Being productive episode. Also, touch wood. I've not been disconnected. Miracle. Some serious upgrades. Nice. Uh, let's jump back into the map again. Straight into another event. I think it's good to sort of keep up the same discipline. Like you get used to obviously the car, how things work. As you can tell, there is a few more that will be popping up once we unlock the star tier of events. All right, no, but this will be another serious one, I reckon. Lots of trees this place. or rocks. Nothing but rocks and sand as far as the eye can see. Going that far out into the wild? It's unbelievable. I like how there's always a big focus on that's the world record. Try and do it. Try and smash it. It's like, no, I can't do it. Please. You really got to try and max out your vehicle for that, though. Take him the, I think, maybe the longer route here. Uh, I just see rocks. Where the hell do I go? I was like, what was that about? Yeah, I've gone seriously the wrong way. I might be on a catch up for a bit. Yeah, that was oh, sweet lord. Yeah, I am behind. That was a shocking route. I literally just drove and I was like, okay, there's all I see is rocks right now. And that's a wrap, so I know it's some stem behind it, but we can't just smash through rocks. It's not how it works. We're gonna take the lead, guys. The lead is ours. Where now? Where now? Go left, go left. Left, 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 left. Where now? I just see lots of rocks. Let's 
Mm, it's a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. The rocks. Down a hill with those beautiful. Almost halfway. So we have a very narrow lead. So you jump. I'm gonna fly. You're gonna do it. Woohoo! Go left, go left, go left. Where now, where now? Point me, point me. Yes. I was pointing the car in the right direction. Oh no, I see a rock. Ooh, that was tricky. It's like a little bush. And then I sort of hit the bush, but there's rocks around as well. If I hit that rock, I would have gone flying. Not in a good way. Ooh, like that one. Keep going. It's a rapture, it's all good. I'm pretty sure that would have damaged my suspension. <laughs> that would have absolutely wrecked the car. Twenty-five percent left. Three quarters done. Could possibly go wrong. Not see that. Woo! Oh, jump, jump, jump. Style it, style it. Done. Off road events done, baby. Well, at least for now. Smash the target by 15 seconds. You know, it's one of us. God, we are so close. What is that? What's he doing over there? Game. No. If you ask me, the best part of the race isn't the race, it's winning the race. And that gives you points. And not to go all Yoda on you, but points lead to victory, victory leads to party, and party leads to... You catch my drift? And you're the winner? Everybody wants to party with you. Oh. You are the highlights of this party, my friend. Trying to get my loot, don't worry. Yep, done it, there we go. I eventually got it. Oh, we got some tires. I cannot emphasize the importance of a good tire on an off-road vehicle. So important. There we go. We're done. I think I said some weird, said a couple of words that which, which made no sense. Uh, right, let's zoom out. What should we do next? So we've done all the off-road events. So let's change the filter. Do we have any touring car events that we haven't done yet? The answer to that question is yes, we have two. So what's this? Going back to my roots. Oh, it's a loaned vehicle. Okay. It's not a particularly long event. So uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Sometimes those sort of loaned vehicle events can take a race God like knows this how is a throwback. A chance An hour. to get back to basics. We don't want to get so busy looking to the future that we forget the past. Finding that balance is key, and part of doing that is going old school sometimes. The placement of that exhaust. Odd. What a beautiful machine, though. A true, true classic. Oh, that, is, that, is a, that is a car. That is what you call a car. Probably worth like a billion dollars, at least. Probably about to scratch it. Scared me, push me wide. So we all got the same vehicle, I love, probably. Love, the same love rating. working on classic cars like this one. You know why? No computers to get in the way. It's just me and the machine. Good point, good point. Me and the machine handles surprisingly well. That's my line. Did it say top three, or was it come fast? I didn't. First, it is then. I guess it's pretty too that. I'm betting you didn't think that because it's a classic, it's going to be easy to drive. 
You won't be getting any power assist at all, so be ready. Because keeping that beautiful little beast under control is going to take everything you've got. Agreed. Ouch. We have so much more speed, my friends. Bye bye. Ooh, you break less than me. I might be three laps. Oh. And they are all over me if I hesitate in any way. There's a reason people still love races like this. Just skill and steel without the bells and whistles. Through classic cars. Who's in what? Can we win this? I don't know. It'll be a tricky one. So just dumps in the car. I don't you know the track very well. And the AI is always just absolutely on rails. So I've really got to just nail every corner, every straight. Try and be a little bit confident. Use up all the track to see what happens. I'm pretty sure it's top three. As far as I'm concerned, this is real racing, and everything else is just a sideshow. There's a simple elegance to running like this. Save the tricks and gimmicks. This is where real drivers excel. All right, mate. Come on, I'm in first place. I excel in this environment. I don't care if you got a posh voice. How did it come from West London? Ah! Four second lead, but I screwed that bit up, didn't I? And this is the car. Give it to me for free! It's one of those cars I want, but I probably won't have a chance to ever buy it, even in the game, let alone in real life. We've got a decent lead by now, and there's the finish line. You know, very good episode so far. When will something go wrong? I don't know. I'm very smooth, which I like. Yeah, reached top three. Did it! Woo! Oh man, we are close. Ooh. Ow! You just scratched my car, you fool! Damn you. <laughs> Ooh. Where's she it? Oh, damn. We actually own the vehicle now. Nice. Thank you. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. History is a constant process of transformation. But as we move forward, we can't ever forget where we came from. There's so much history for us to be proud of. So many great races, great drivers. That heritage makes us who we are today. And it'll inform who we'll be tomorrow, no matter what shifts. Very insightful, thank you. Uh, don't matter the map. We're gonna do, actually what I will do first, is upgrade my touring car. I'm guessing that was Touring Car Parts I just unlocked there. I believe so. Touring Car Edition. But this is my baby. It's the one I'm going to race with a lot. And these parts are better. So, we are equipped. And let's race. Touring Car Race, begin! Last time I done this, I absolutely destroyed them. Because this car is so good. I mean, look at my stats. Recommendation. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm actually below. Oh. Okay. Did not expect that. That's never happened before. <laughs> Whoops. Unless that's... Uh, is that the wrong vehicle? That might be the wrong vehicle. I'm not sure. Perhaps I can switch. We'll try. We'll try anyway. That might be my... Old Mercedes, this one. Welcome to an yeah, old family tradition. The Bishop family legacy race. Three generations of Clarence Bishop. All it's going to switch out. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. That's why. I was getting worried though. I was like, what? One competition. They sponsor it every year. And one of them wins every year. How'd you like to start a new tradition and break their streak? Oh, I would love that. This is a car. This is a beast. 
This car is very ready. Look at that downforce. Those tyres. Go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Channel your inner drive. Clarence Senior. Where's Junior? Let me guess. He's in front. There he is, second place. They've both gone for the, uh, the classic look. No doubt with a few upgrades. I would imagine. There's my phone. Lovely. Hello, Clarence. Kiss is in the lead. Lols. Try and see if you can keep up. <laughs> I bet you can't. I mean, I've got no idea where I'm going. Oh, that was nice. This car is firmly planted to the road. Oh, man. I put the power down so early, but it grips like a boss. Three laps, yes, I believe it is. Oh, oh god, where am I going? Oh, a sudden attraction has kicked in. I have to save it. Clarence the third! Not Junior. So many Clarences, it's silly. Can I think of another name? Like Jeff? Just Clarence every time. Ooh. Far from one. I'm not going to lie. Clarence the Third is a is a driver. He can drive quick. He's keeping me very, very honest. He knows this track very, very well. He knows his car inside out. Once I stamp down on this throttle, oh damn it! That is not part of the plan. Okay. You're okay. Remember what I showed you about making up time. What did you show me? Make your car wide, make it quick. Go away, phone. I'm busy. Can't use my phone when I'm driving. Ooh, that's a bit naughty. A little bit naughty indeed. Get from behind. Is Jeff. Your butler. Oh, how did he? Whoa! What a name! A free drive right into me. No, now Jeff's in the lead. Might have been that. Give me the boost. For some of these corners, I tend to lose so much time. Either I push the car too much, or I brake too much. <laughs> One or the other. Make sure I don't go in the, uh, the sand this time. That lost me a lot of time. There we go. That's better. Don't lift, don't lift, don't lift, don't lift. Keep it going. I think we, sir, are about to win this event. Yes, we are. Hoi! Done it! Don't make that last sector. They could not keep up. A boom! Clarence the third last. What a shame. That should give me so many followers. Stupid. Come on! No! Give me more! I, really I should just stop out on track, but... Who's going to tell me off? No one. Right, let's do some more upgrades. The motor core has been improved. And exhaust. That is one awesome, awesome car. What else should we do? Uh, let's go to the filter and work it out. I've done all the drag events, done all the drift events, done all the street race events. Um, aerobatics, maybe? Could be quite fun if there's any available. There is. All right. Let's do that then. Aerobatics it is. Actually, got three events we haven't done yet. Uh, do we have a good enough? Yes, we do. <laughs> it's easily good enough. All right, let's do it. I really want to become a star. I feel like we've just we've been we've been doing this for ages, so we're gonna we're gonna keep going. 
And we're going to unlock the star category. The perfect American sculpture. Done big, done well, and done with explosives. Now go do yourself some aerobatics and have a blast. Oh, we. If I screw this up, I apologize. I'm not the best at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Aerobatics. This is a nimble plane. It can perform. As long as I get those 2,000 points, I do not mind. Go get it. There's no such thing as too wild. All right. Done it. And then go. Whoa! What happened there? Ouch! Just lost control completely. Vertical up. Find the right level. Done it. Nice. And let's try and nail this loop. Straight away. Right, here we go. Nice and straight. And then the list is done. Nice. Nice dive. There you go, hot shot. Oh, I'll get the points. <laughs> get some knives. Get some rolls. Next checklist should be coming out anytime soon. There we go. I'm on roll already. Outside loop. This can be a little bit tricky, but we give it a go. Level it out. And. Please work first time. Done it? Yes. No, it's not. Go do a nose dive. <laughs> I can't speak English, apparently. Here we go. Nose dive. Enough is enough is enough. Yes. The points say you beat Sophia. Can't argue with the points. No, you cannot. It was a tree. Close call, you know it. You go upside down. Oh yeah. Next sequence. What? Under a bridge? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's also, low altitude will be pretty hard. Um, unless I follow this water. It's going to be hard though, isn't it? Oh god. I've got to find a bridge as well. Is that a bridge? Oh god, that looks very, very low. How do I go under a bridge? Right, there's a bridge there. Like right down. Uh oh. Oh look! That's not under a bridge, is it, Scott? That's not under a bridge. Damn it! So low. Oh, we've still got the main amount of points, but I'm gonna try. okay. We've got ten seconds. Just saw a bridge behind us. Where's the bridge? Right. Who's on the main objective? Try and go under it now. That's such a low bridge. I can't do that one, surely. There's no way I can do that. Fine, we move on. Throttle, exhaust, fuelage. Roll with, Roll with the punches. I wish I'd done a little bit better there, but just trying to find the right bridge is tricky. is looking to create a spectacle. Why? People watch spectacle. And sponsors will pay good money for eyeballs, which we can provide. And that good money means everyone keeps the lights on. It's as simple as that. So, uh, we are so close to becoming a star. I reckon one more event, and that's it. So, let's do it. it means we have loads and loads of potential for the next episode, which is exciting. Very exciting. All right, let's do this. Our plane is good enough. I've got no excuses. Um, let's just say go under a bridge. And I can't ah, find a bridge. the wide open spaces of Texas. Oh, Perfect yeah. place to master an important technique. Tight turns. To do them, just trade some speed for extra control. And even if you don't Ow. nail them perfectly, Ow. you're probably not gonna Ow. crash. Probably. So let me out. Let me fly. 
Give me my freedom. But this time I'll do a little bit better. I want to really nail the checklists. I mean, honestly, as long as I get the main 2,000 points, that's all I want. But I always want more. Oh, low altitude. Okay, stay nice and low. Touch and go as well. Whoop. Oh, yeah. There we go. What we're talking about. Loop. First time. Come on. Loop, 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 loop. Really quite close to the ground. Yes. Oh, oh, ow. Touch and go. Oh, damn. <laughs> Did you see that? Drift. Oh, there we go. Did you guys drift in the air? I don't think so. Vertical up. All right. Nose burn. Let's do that first. Come on. Keep it level. Done. Outside loop. Just do a nose dive. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Uh, outside loop. First time. Do it. Smash it. Come on. Yes. Got so close to 2,000 points already. I'm knifing it. I'm knifing it. Upside down. Nice and low. Oh, hello. What's the checklist? I don't know. Right, we're back. Three rolls. Let's do it. Oh, I've been to the inverted low altitude. Damn it. Could just kept going. Now, low altitude. Nice and low to the ground. On the left. Oh, it's hard. It's not particularly flat anymore, is it? There we go. Come on. Yes. Right now, loop. Still got 40 seconds left. Nice and level. Let's do it. Fly, baby, fly! Boom. Straight into a knife. Do some roly polies. Get that smoke. And. Oh, I was trying to touch the floor, but it didn't quite work. Don't have any time to. 10 rolls! Jesus, that is crazy. But at least, oh, we've done it. We are officially a star. 50 gamer score points for that as well. Yep, we are a star, guys. Confirmed. Yes. Mm. So I think we now have every event now available. Unlocked. The next event in the live extreme series. Another live extreme race. Win again, and you'll be swimming in followers. How's it feel to be a star? Ah! <laughs> I'm so pleased. Oh man, that's a lot of events. 50 new activities. 50. Oh, yeah, they're all popping up. I think I'm pretty sure every event is now possible. That is crazy. I've got a lot to do. <laughs> I'm excited though. Right, so this. Go back to the default filter. And um, what I'm going to do now is basically try and get a general sort of gist of what you guys want to see in the uh, next episode. So I want to do hypercars, of course, which has now been unlocked. But what hypercar do you guys want to see? Because I think we have enough money for pretty much any vehicle we want. So let's decide. I'm going to give you guys almost like my favourites, but generally I'm going to read the comments and get like a general gist of what you guys want to see. Hypercar unlocked. So, we've got to buy a new car and smash it. What car do we have available? I don't believe we have any free vehicles at the moment, so we have to buy 
something. So let's start from the very beginning. What do you guys want to see me drive? We have enough money for most of these. Oh, the Jag. The McLaren 12C. The Aventador, always up there in terms of hypercars. Is that the F1? Oh, that is a car. <laughs> that is a car and a half. Very, very nice. Um, are we still able yep, to still afford this? The Kuninzeg. One of my favourite cars as well. Love it. Wow. The Spider. Ooh, so damned in. So we, do we still have enough for these? Uh, so, that I believe is the limit. The 458. We can't afford Lamborghini. We don't have access to the LaFerrari yet. And we can't afford that. <laughs> what the hell? The Regera is so expensive. Yeah, so pretty much anything I can afford, you guys can vote for. So leave your votes in the comments. If you guys see someone that's already um, voted for that car, give it a thumbs up. Um, and just all leave replies to that comment and just say, yeah, that's the right vehicle. Do it. So yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you guys want to see? I'll leave it up to you. And I'll see you guys soon for the next episode. Bye-bye.